From the first day of the war, teachers from the Ternopil Institution of Services and Tourism have been accepting orders for the territorial defense for making ammunition. They say there are no students, but there are capacities to help the army. Only in one day about 300-400 of bags for medicines are produced. In addition, pouches, nets for helmets, bags for cartridges are sewn. Here is a florist who doesn't know this production at all, but she sits and sews. I'm a teacher, but I must do it for the sake of our country, with great hope, faith and support of our warriors. Everyone making a handbag says, this will help someone, this will save someone's life. 12-year-old Larissa's granddaughter also helps. I cut off the rubber bands on the bags so that they can be tightened and the medicines do not fall out. Graduates are also involved to help. For example, Volodymyra graduated 15 years ago. Now she works as a junior nurse in a maternity hospital and on weekends, she says, she sews for the military of the armed forces of Ukraine. I have a sewing machine at home, so I have not forgotten how to work. In addition to production, internally displaced persons from Kharkiv, Kherson and Kyiv region were accommodated in students' dormitories of the school. People try to help. For example, Ludmila, who was forced to live with two children from the Vyshgorod district of the Kyiv region. I am an accountant by profession, but I help in any way I can. When you spend the whole day in the work, your thoughts are immersed and you don't think about events in your city. Ludmila's daughter Vera also helps. I put the fabric in a bag, wrap it up, and then it is the bag. One of the organizers of this volunteering is Ludmila, a teacher from an ordinary Ternopil school. She says that she was inspired by her military husband. He served in the Donbass for six years, but got the second disability group. Unfortunately, he can serve in the front. Therefore, he advises his wife how to sew this or that thing for the Ukrainian soldier more correctly, more logically. This is a pouch for Kalashnikov assault rifle magazines. We made different divisions. They are sewed according to the American model. There were no patterns, nothing, just drew drawings. There is a need for covers for helmets, they are different, but thanks to the masters of the school everything is done. According to volunteers, the production is non-waste. They send the remnants of the fabric to nets that are woven in almost every school in Ternopil. Teachers are sure that they will increase the number of people and take even more serious orders. Reported by Marina Stepanenko, Julia Bezbrodko, UATV News.